Hello, welcome to the West Ham Way YouTube. Myself, Mark Carlow, and Bill Don, fellow West Ham fan. Bill, we've just signed our, our third summer signings over the line at last. So we've got Flynn Downs has signed from Swansea City, originally from Ipswich Town. He's been there for quite a long time. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited about this one. What, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I'm excited as well. I think he's um, he's got a lot of potential. He's young. He fits with uh, David Moyes' plan of having us go for a Red Bull style sort of situation at West Ham. Um, mm. He looks promising. I think I saw on Twitter a couple of days ago that uh, he his pass completion was 92%, which was ahead of what Declan Rice had. So we could have he's number one, I believe, isn't he? Number one in the country. Yeah, number one. Yeah, number one. So I think he had 92% and Declan Rice had 91%. So mm. along those lines. So yeah, it's excellent. So we're going to have a solid midfield. Hopefully, we can push on from there. Uh, get a few more signings. Hopefully, down the line. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can we can build upon that. Flynn looks very very promising. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's one of those that sort of came out of the blue, isn't it? I mean, Crystal Palace has been heavily linked with him for quite some time. I know West Ham X revealed that we've been looking at him for a little while. Um, but I've, if I look back, um, basically over the course of the last year, I think Palace have been linked with him heavily for a long time. I think he'd always kind of been tipped to be going there. Um, so I think it's going to be quite painful for them, the fact that we kind of swooped in at the last minute. Um, from what X was saying, though, the deal was stalling with them. And I think they were, you know, regarding negotiations, I think, I think West Ham just saw an opportunity and gone in. Um, I think what it sounds like to me, I mean, I've, I don't know this for a fact, but it seems the fact that he's a West Ham fan, his family is still in Essex and things like that, it's probably edged him a little bit closer to wanting to come to us. So, yeah. I mean, I'm absolutely chuffed with it. And, you know, as you say, it's... Um, I mean, it's exciting, but I think as well, it shows West Ham are really doing a bit of business a bit early. You know, I mean, it's, we've still got a long way to go in the window and to have three, you know, big signings over the line, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's good times, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's 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 a breath of fresh air as well. I was thinking about it this morning that what we we, we heard the rumours that we were interested in Flynn Downs, I think, mm. Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, and now we've got it confirmed that it's a done deal, which is which is excellent to see. Um, it's, well, it's, it's, it's unheard of, isn't it, West Ham? No, like, yeah. It really is unheard of. West Ham don't do that. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, I've, I'm, what, I'm 28, I think, from as far as I can remember. I don't think West Ham have ever done an early signing. So, so, so it's a bit it's a bit weird to see someone come on, come in through the door in, in what amount of four to five days. So it's, it's Well, I think it's even less too. than that. I think it was sort of about 24, 48 hours in terms of, you know, we obviously, we put a bid in, it was accepted. But the fact that not only has it been accepted, they started the medical yesterday, completed it today, and he's already in a shirt. I mean, it's just, it's a little bit of a different thing for West Ham. I mean, I don't know whether, I mean... The fact he's coming for the championship, which is a model that really works for West Ham. I love the fact that we, mm. you know, the success rate we've had with that has been great. Yeah. So, and the fact we've got Crowley, you know, is left now, Noble's retired. I think we, we do need to bolster that midfield. The question I'm going to put to you, though, Bill, what, what do you think for Thomas Suchek now? I'm not saying for a minute that Finn's uh, Downs is coming in to replace him, but are you seeing his positions becoming a bit precarious now for West Ham? Uh, yeah, I mean, the rumours are the rumors are there now, aren't they? And they're definitely uh, starting to start to ground a lot more more uh, traction along the ways. But I think mm. I think we need to keep Suchek just on the basis of we don't have uh, a strong defender that could cover for Suchek if we were to send him or he did decide that he wanted to leave. I mean, I know he brought in Downs and, you know, he came in from the championship. And But if you look at the past two mm. the players that we signed for the championship, both from Roma and Bowen, they took about a half a season to a season to actually fully start to, to integrate and develop into, into the team. So mm. I think, you know, whilst... The, the options there that we could sell Suchek, I think the smartest idea would to keep him at least mm. for another season. You know, if he doesn't agree to contracts and we do decide to try and extend them later on down the new season when it starts um, or whether we decide to sell him January or summer just to give time for Flynn and, and any other centre midfielders that we've got to mm. actually develop, to look like they could take his position and become the, the next sort of number one midfielder to run alongside Declan Rice as well. But, um... Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I'm, I mean, it's a difficult one with Suche. I mean, I really feel for him. I don't. I really don't want to see us lose Suche. I mean, I think that what he's brought to the club has been really positive. I know last season he did struggle a bit, but I do think uh, the factor for me, this is my view, that the, the emergence of Rice in terms of that sort of more attacking role that he's, he'd taken on, whereas the season before that was sort of occupied by Suche, I do think it's hampered him a little bit. Um, but at that being said, I still don't think we should be selling unless, of course, they've got some, you know, big name replacement to come in. It's going to step into his shoes. But having said that, I mean, Flynn Downs, I, think, I just think it's a really clever signing. And also as well with Flynn Downs is, is that he's, you know, he's English. He's paid for Eng under 20, under 19, under 20s. Um, so he's that homegrown quota um, that we need to sort of fulfill, which I think, you know, is very good. 23 years old as well. Um, he just ticks a lot of boxes, this signing for me. Um, but yeah, and... Um, Obviously, now we're we're moving on now into the summer window. The things are starting to sort of 
pick up a bit of pace now. You can sense that some deals could be happening soon. Um, who are you seeing coming through the door, Bill? Who, who's your next sort of, would you like to see confirmed by the club? I'd, I'd like to see Brozier confirmed next. I would like to see Brozier. As much as there's the, the tickles of, of Lingard, that's that's just going to drag on through the entire summer. I mean, what what I've seen from the Lingard um, debacle that's going on at the moment reminds me a lot of when we tried to send Carlos Backer, uh, what, three or four seasons ago, and we ended up mm. ruling the entire summer to not get him and then to, to end up rushing on signings again. So for me, I feel like the smartest option would be to to look at alternatives from Lingard. But also the strike position, it needs to be it needs to be addressed as soon as possible. And I think Brozier is is the perfect sort of person to come in and actually start changing the way that we attack. Because um, yeah. I said and I've said it to friends before that Antonio is great up front. I love Antonio as a striker, but he just he can't finish. Um, he's perfect at holding up the ball and and allowing play to go on past him. So I feel like if we were to develop maybe a, a two up front formation. Mm. And it would be perfect to hold the ball up, but you need someone to go past him and be able to finish. So I think having someone like 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 Brozier come through um, yeah. would be excellent for ourselves and to get ourselves further into looking at, at positions we can cover, but bringing in a, another centre midfielder or signing a, a left back that we need to sign as well. Um, mm. Yeah, in terms of in terms of the transfer window, I've got you know I've got my hopes up. To be fair, I, I, I have. Um, I know we do like to stall and, and dither a little bit, but I think as a as far as it's gone with the three signings, they look very promising and very good for us going forward. I agree, mate. I mean, I'm personally really excited as well. I mean, I, I think we you know it, it's, we're showing some intent, which I think we all wanted to see. I think we know we know where the position. Like, I mean, you just hit the nail on the head, really, in terms of the front line. We do need someone more clinical. I mean, we've got someone I think in Jared Bowen. It's a little bit like that. He doesn't really waste so many chances. But if you think if you've got someone like Bowen, say on the right side. And you've got a clinical striker, as you say, someone like Antonio that's feeding them in. And then if you added someone like Lingard as well, who's very clinical in front of goal. I mean, really, that I think that would be a real potent attack. And we want someone just a bit more calm in front of goal. Like you say, Antonio's such a good build-up player. And he is good at, you know, he does grab some goals. But ultimately, you're right. I mean, I think he does lack that sort of clinical edge and that calmness in front of goal sometimes just to, just to tuck it away. Um, <clears> and I think that's something we do miss. And... And to be honest with you, in terms of Brozier, I mean, I mean, I don't know enough. I mean, all I know is from what X has told us, really, to be honest. And it does seem that I think that's going to happen. Well, in terms of I think Chelsea, the, you know, the will st- might start moving on that deal once Chelsea bring in other attacking options. It looks like Sterling's going to be going to the club. I think that's quite close now. And hopefully, once that's done, that will enable Chelsea to loosen up a little bit and think, OK, well, we can do a deal. Um, which is to keep our fingers crossed. With Lingard, I agree. I mean, we've talked about it so much on the show, to be honest with you. Um, it's quite exhausting. But my gut feeling is that that's going to be happening very soon. I, I, I mean, I think if it's going to happen, it's got to happen. It's got to happen soon. The reason I say that is because, you know, his number one priority, according to X, is that he wants to be in England squad um, next season. He wants to go to the World Cup. And he knows this is his last chance. He's got to be playing football. Um, at the end of the day, we're in pre-season now. We're, I think we're playing tomorrow. Um, this is recorded on the Thursday, so I think for tomorrow we're starting playing our first pre-season game. Um, and then we've obviously got a few games going. So you'd think if you're in Lingard's shoes, he wants to be a part of that. If he wants to be, you know, it's because he's going to get a full pre-season under his belt to hit the ground running. So I'm really hoping that, you know, we're going to get an answer on that soon. X did say as well that um, I think that they were planning to have meetings at a later stage this week, so it should be around about now. So really hoping we get some positive news on that. But all in all, you know, if we, when we go to Flynn Downs, mate, I mean... Really good signing. I'm really excited by it. And the fact he's a West Ham fan, I mean, and with Noble leaving, I mean, is this the next Mr. West Ham coming in? What do you reckon? Um, <laughs> uh, I'd say it's um, a bit forward to think, but the fact that he's a West Ham fan, does it, it says a lot. Because it, it, it now it makes it look like he, he is the replacement, you know, Mr. West Ham, because we don't have many West Ham fans. We've got people that have brought on to West Ham that, mm. like, for now. Example that ended up just loving us afterwards. I think yeah. Creswell's got that that quite a, quite a strong sort of love for us. I mean, I know his name's a bit um, a bit blasphemous at the moment, but I think Creswell Creswell's got that spirit with him as well. There's a few other players, but to have someone that's truly born and bred as a West Ham fan, and I think that was another reason why this deal went through as quick as it did. Because you know, mm. if I was in his shoes and and the club I love wanted to come and, and take me from the Championship, then I'm going to be all his as well. I'd be wanting to move too. But um, yeah, having him as a West Ham fan, I think that'll keep the passion in there as well that, that Noble could have, that Noble did bring in, obviously, because of his links with ourselves. And and having that, you know, familiarity in the changing room that you have with 60,000 odd people that are sitting outside the stand as well. So having that communication between that one player and the player and, and the fans is something that, you know, not a lot of clubs really tend to have anymore. 
Absolutely, mate. I mean, I, I mean, I agree, completely agree. I, I think it's, um, I think it's a really shrewd move for the club. I think, like as you say, having a, a West Ham fan, as, you know, a, in a, as a player at the club, I think it does help things. Um, you know, he's gonna have that passion. He understands the club. His family are all from the area, so he's, it's, it's quite. And I'm really chuffed for him. It must be such an exciting move. I mean, been at Ipswich, I think pretty much. I think he was something like 13 years at the club, something like that. At Ipswich, he'd been there a long, long time. Um, he's moved to Swansea. He's done very well. Um, and obviously, hence why he's got a lot of attraction from Premier League clubs. I think Wolves were interested. So it's great. I think it's a really clever signing. And also as well, we haven't talked about the fee. I mean, talking £9 million with £3 million. I think, I think the total is about £12 million, the, the deal, which is it's a decent return, I think. I think, for you know, in terms of a, you know, a young midfielder who's got a lot going for himself. And, look, and what I've seen of him as well, I've saw him in a couple of games last season. Um, but in terms of recently, I'm like, trying to clips on him watching recently he's got a bit of a Declan Rice attributes about him very sort of seems very calm on the ball very very shrewd at how he distributes it I mean he's got as you said earlier I mean he's number one in the country in terms of uh, success rates with passes so I mean this could be a really special player we've got around here and I think with, with Moyes looking after him as well you just think it's a good it's a big future for him I mean um yeah I'm I'm chuffed mate absolutely chuffed yeah, yeah, same here. And I think um, Moises, Moises really, or, or whoever is scouting out the championships doing an excellent job of it at the moment. Because we've mm. pulled out is that have high numbers and, you know, a lot, a lot of other teams have actually gone in for. And we've brought them over to our team and, and, and started to sort of graft them. I mean, Bowen went from being at a hole a season and a half ago to now, you know, murmurs of him being in the next World Cup squad. Um, and then you've got Ben Rama, who who is constantly developing, and you can see him, you know, constantly trying to develop and push himself further. Um, yeah. So for for the new guy to come in and you know look at that and look at people that have moved up from the Championship to the Premiership to West Ham as well, I think he's going to um, get a lot of influence from from Bowen and from Ben Rama and, and their stories because of how they came up is very very similar to how he has. And um, so. Uh, his personality sounds like something that'll fit into the dressing room perfectly as well. I think that's something that Moyes is wanting too, because obviously you hear rumours about Danjuma having having bad attitude, which is why we've mm. stalled or had no on him. And then we've got um, uh, the new guy coming back in, and you know he's a West Ham fan. I think he's going to have the same banter on the levels as as the people that are currently there at the moment. Because obviously he he must have been watching us last season, and you know for for most of his his playing career as well, he's always had the side eye for for the team that he loves. Um, but yeah, having having that passion and having that sort of personality come into the squad as well will probably help boost the the team morale that's actually going at the moment. Absolutely, Bill. I mean, I'm I'm chuffed, mate. I'm really excited. It's and and long may this continue. You know, in terms of the summer, let's hope we get some more faces in. And um, yeah, we've got more of these videos coming. And uh, yeah, exciting yeah. times, mate. Exciting times. Very exciting times. Very exciting times. Um, it's, Bill, it's gonna... you... Sorry, mate. No, I was just going to say it's going to be. I think it's going to be a good season again next season. You know, it's, it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. I'm, I'm really optimistic. I think you know we've got a, a European venture coming up, and you know, let's be honest, we're going to be. We should be in the mix for top six again. You'd hope, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, mate. Absolutely buzzing. Excellent. Same here. Same here. Perfect. Bill, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for watching. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway of a signed ball soon. Um, that's for from signed by Declan Rice, Jared Bowen, um, Side Ban Rama. Um, so and basically the whole squad. I think David Moyes as well. Um, so if you are are watching this video and you aren't a subscriber, do subscribe and we'll be doing that giveaway very soon. Bill, thank you very much, and I'll uh, we'll speak to you very soon. Richard, thank you for having me. Cheers, thank you, mate.